Hey there, thanks so much for coming back to watch today's video. So I thought it would be fun to go through my makeup collection and grab quite a few different palettes that I think make really, really good fall palettes. Some of them are actually fall themed. Um, I kind of wanted to do this that way. You know, maybe if you don't have the money to buy the new drops that are dropping, um, you can still get a really beautiful fall look without having to spend money and just go into your makeup collection and maybe use something you haven't used in a while. I do have to say, I understand that I'm in the minority that has a very, very large makeup collection. I totally get that. I've been collecting makeup for a lot of years. I do do YouTube and I do purchase everything myself. Um, the only free stuff I've gotten from companies to like do reviews on is skincare and perfume and jewelry. I haven't gotten makeup. So I just want to make that really clear. I get that not everyone has a, this many eyeshadow palettes. The whole entire, whole entire point is to go through what you already have and uh, reuse it. Yeah. So I try to pick palettes I thought some people or most people would have. Some of them are not. Obviously, not, you're not going to have everything. And, you know, you have stuff I don't have, stuff like that. And I do have some high end. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of both. Sorry about the long intro. Yeah. Let's just get started. Okay. So I do have quite a few Wet n Wild. I do feel like Wet n Wild has a really good array of um, palettes and... Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have Wet n Wild. Uh, Wet n Wild sold in a lot of places. So the very first one, I need to use this again, is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat collection. This was last year, I believe. It smells a little bit like coffee, but look at those beautiful shades. Oh my goodness. So I thought we'd go ahead and do a Tati moment and um, I do swatches and I'm not gonna have enough room to do them just on my arms. So we're just gonna do them wherever. But this is a really beautiful palette. Uh, the shades are like buttery, soft, hyper pigmented. It is crazy how pigmented these are. Like, they're really, really nice. Absolutely love this palette. It's great. Smells really good. I do feel like a lot of people probably did purchase this because it's super cute. But yeah, the Coffee Cat um, shadow palette is beautiful and really, really gorgeous like tones for fall. So definitely recommend this one. Um, another one is a little bit more colorful, but this is the 10 shade Call Me Sunshine palette. This one is really, really pretty too. Once again, it has a really, really nice buttery formula and it's just absolutely beautiful. So Wet n Wild, if you haven't used Wet n Wild in a while, you need to try them out again. Sorry about the noise people are making outside. It's just really, really beautiful, super pigmented. This is a great palette and they're just beautiful shades. Beautiful, once again, if you like that kind of warm, but you like some pops of yellow, gold, bronze, this is beautiful, absolutely stunning. If you're more of just a neutral, cooler neutral type of gal, the Always Naked palette from Wet n Wild. I love this one. It is absolutely beautiful. I love their formula. It's just a really, really nice formula, in my opinion. I just really, really think it's beautiful. So. Maybe Tati's onto something. You have a lot more real estate if you just do it everywhere. You know what I mean? But really, really beautiful. And once again, super pigmented, easy to blend, really, really nice. One more, this one is as simple as it can get, but it is a little bit deeper now. And it is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells by Pan Little Palette. Um, I actually have not used this one. So am I gonna even be able to open this? So really, really just nice, simple, neutral palette. But this shade right here, this really, really dark brown. Once again, same type of formula. Um, it's just oh, so buttery and so soft. I mean, they're beautiful. Beautiful little five pan palettes. So if you're just like as simple as it can get, I would definitely recommend trying out their five pan palettes. And they have a lot of different colors. I mean, even that super beige camel one. Really, really nice. So I like all of the Wet n Wild palettes I talked about. Obviously, that's why I did uh, bring them out to play. So these are great. Love them. 
definitely, definitely recommend them if you are looking for something super affordable, super pigmented, fun, a lot of different color varieties. Any of any Wet n Wild palette is going to be beautiful, affordable, and uh, just hit the spot. Okay, so next I have some two palettes from Nika K. Nika K is amazing quality, super affordable. These are like $3.99 a piece, but this one is called Autumn Spice. Yeah, like I said, some of them are autumn, actually fall themed. And then this one is called Mocha Mix. This one's beautiful too. And it goes pretty deep and pretty warm. It's so pretty. We'll go ahead and do the Mocha one first, because why not? Once again, really, really nice formula. Um, the shimmers are incredible. So are the mattes, though. I just really, really enjoy every Nikki K palette I've tried. I really, really like. But really, really beautiful. And they're just... They're stunning. Um, I do purchase directly from the web website, but um, website's pretty affordable, like shipping wise, if you buy a certain amount, but you know what I mean? But really, really nice. And just great quality. Those shimmers are like out of this world good. Um, this is the Autumn Spice. And once again, it just is so beautiful. Just stunning. you like those classic kind of autumn shades, you're going to love this little palette. Oh, shimmers. Stunning. Beautiful. Affordable. All the best things. Um, really, really nice quality and I absolutely love these. I use these a ton. I um, I'm going to be using this um, a lot more now that it's actually autumn, but you can't tell me, like, look at that. If you, if you like shimmers, you like metallics, you're going to love these. They're incredible. Okay, so next I have, this is the Extreme Access Pocket Shadow from J-Cap Beauty. J-Cap Beauty is, I think, really, really underrated. Um, beautiful, beautiful quality with almost everything I've used. This is a little bit lighter, but once again, it does have some fall tones in it. So you do have kind of a deep brown, but you have these beautiful like orange and yellow, nice glitters or like metallic shades. This beautiful pop of like a dark mauve, beautiful like kind of stony, greeny color. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful little palette. I love these. They're great quality as well. Look at that. It, the quality is like expensive feeling, if that makes sense. Like, really, really nice. Just incredible. So, absolutely love the little pocket palettes. I have two of them, and they are great. Okay, I do have two Revolution, I Heart Revolution. I two Revolution palettes. Um, I wanted to stay away from my Reloaded palettes because everyone knows I love those. Great kind of dupe shades for some of the old Too Faced um, fall launches. So the little Maxi Reloaded palettes, beautiful, great quality, and uh, I love those, but I didn't want to talk about those. This is the Rose Gold Chocolate palette. Has a full size mirror, which is lovely. But look at those. Tell me that does not scream fall. Tell me this does not look like something Tarte would come out with. Or Too Faced, sorry. Something that Too Faced would come out with. Looks, I mean, it's beautiful. Once again, nice array of shades. Um, it doesn't go incredibly deep. Like, this is the deepest shade. Um, but it's a really, really beautiful palette. I love the, like, the pop of green in here. And so it's just a really nice quality palette if you're looking for something that might be a little bit different. It has some purple. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So the rose gold one is stunning if you um, like Makeup Revolution. I'm just, I have too much color on my fingers so it's not laying stuff down right, but really, really nice quality. Love these. Sorry, I had to free up some real estate. Okay, so next is the I Heart Revolution. This is the Tasty Pumpkin Spice Palette. This was released last year. 
They do have it on sale even now, but this is an all shimmer palette. I have an all matte palette, don't worry. But if you have a lot of mattes, you want some fun shimmers to play with, this is a good option for you. The only thing I wish they would have done is put some scent into this and it would have been perfect, absolutely perfect. But this is a fun palette because it has like autumn themed names, like they have pumpkin puree, festive treat, um, spicy and sweet, um, cinnamon stick, coffee bean. So they have cute names, which I do appreciate. This is just a really, really nice shimmer palette. They have like metallics, they have like the smooth shimmers, but they are impressive. So I love these. Yeah, just a little bit of scent and it would have been perfect. Um, once again, if, if you're not too big into shimmer, you might not like this palette. I personally think it is beautiful, a beautiful addition to a makeup collection. And if you still have this or you purchased it last year, I recommend getting it back out. You might not be able to do a full eye look like I did in my re review video, but it's a fun addition. And the shimmers are really, really nice. Smooth, even the ones that are a little bit more chunky, they lay down beautifully on top of the eye. So pretty. If you can't tell, I kind of love shimmers just a little bit. Okay, we have one more affordable palette and it is a mega one. It's a big one. And it is the Profusion Moonstone palette. This one is beautiful because, if I can open it, and it's been used. You can go warm or cool. It's beautiful. You have giant pressed glitters here, nice transition shades like the big giant squares, um, or they can be used as bronzers. And then, like I said, you can go warm or you can go cooler. So I do like that they have the grays. Um, I, I do like that because I do like a cool toned eye look from time to time. And once again, quality is superb. I love Profusion Cosmetics. If you haven't tried anything from them, you are missing out um, just because it's amazing quality for the price. I mean, this is beautiful and you have everything you would need, um, every color basically to uh, do a really beautiful, neutral, not super colorful eye look. But once again, you do have the warm tones, you have the cool tones, and it's just stunning absolutely stunning love it absolutely love it um, once again if you if you don't have a lot of money this is less than 20 bucks but it's a mega palette and it has everything you would possibly need and it's beautiful make a beautiful gift so love this one so much it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay um, I have four higher end palettes um, so the first one is, I don't even know how to pronounce this, it's Douce, Douce, D-O-U-C-C-E. But this is the Freematic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. It comes with eight shadows and it also comes with a highlighter. Everything pops out, full-size mirror, but this is a beautiful palette. So you got the four right here, which are shimmers, four right here, which are matte, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Nice kind of soft, soft black. It's beautiful. Like, it's nice. Not saying you need these, because I don't think you need these. Um, it's just if you already have these. The quality, in my opinion, is not any better than the palettes I just talked about, but it is really, really beautiful. And if you do have this, I would recommend getting it back out, because it is really, really gorgeous. Nice packaging. Um, like I said, if if you um, are traveling or something and if you want to like pop stuff out, it's gorgeous. Really, really beautiful, really nice formula. And the highlighter is gorgeous too. Um, just something, once again, if you do have this in your collection, recommend getting it back out because it is a stunning palette. Absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so next is the Tarte High Performance Naturals, the Clay Play Palette. This has been out for years, but it's beautiful and simple. Reminds me a lot of the Walking on Eggshells palette. So nice array of mattes. It's just a matte palette, 
which is beautiful, but you got three bronzers right here, which also could be used as transition shades, but it's just a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous palette. The quality is really, really nice. I feel like a lot of people, they have Tarte, they like Tarte, um, so yeah, that's why I, I do recommend this if you have, if you have this, but it's so pretty, smooth, buildable, creamy, all those really nice things that you want in an eyeshadow, especially a matte shadow, this is that. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this as well. And I don't play with it as much as I need to, but I'm going to start playing with it more because it is really, really pretty. Okay, second to last is the Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers. I believe this was last year's holiday release. Um, but yeah, full size mirror. This is so, so pretty. If you already have this, get it back out because there are some banging colors in here, like the oranges. They have orange and burgundy. Really, really nice, beautiful shimmers right up here. It's a really, really gorgeous, buttery, pigmented palette. So pretty. And let me go ahead and get a clean finger and swatch one of these shimmer shades for you. So, so pretty. Easy to work with. I love Lime Crime. I know that there were some issues a couple years back. Um, I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. But, sorry, I know I'm layering but right there. These three, and then the shimmer is stunning. It's right here. So, yeah, love the Lime Crime Greatest Hits bangers. It's so pretty. Just a really, really nice palette. If you haven't tried Lime Crime Shadow Formula, it's really, really nice. As you see, really, really pigmented. And this is great. Last one. And once again, people might find this person problematic. I don't. Once again, I don't keep up on it. I don't really care. I like I like things for the things they are, not for the people. It's the Jeffree Star Group Fun Palette. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. That's why I won't say it. This is a really, really gorgeous palette. And I've already gotten it dirty because I'm covered in swatches. This is an all matte palette. I know I think when I think fall, I do think more matte eyes. I personally love shimmer and I always do shimmer. I hardly ever do a matte eye, just an all matte eye. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And I feel like a lot of people probably have this because this was um, Jeffree Star's first all matte palette. And it's buttery. It is so, so buttery. Like, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of different shades. So if you're very, very pale, you're still gonna have some great transition shades. If you are deeper, once again, you're gonna have some great transition and definition shades. It's just a really, really, really beautiful palette. If you like all mattes, then this is gonna be the palette for you. It is so beautiful. Once again, you can go a little bit cooler, you can go a little bit warmer, but you just gotta love those buttery mattes because, let me show you. I'm gonna do it right here on a clean piece of skin. This is a beautiful, creamy, dreamy matte palette. So, so nice. So definitely recommend all these. Uh, once again, this wasn't the point of you going out and purchasing these things. It's if you already have these, get these back out and play with them for fall. You can be able to create a lot of beautiful fall looks. And if you don't have any of these, once again, just go through what you do have and get something out and play. You don't have to go out and buy new stuff. Even if you have just a really neutral palette, try playing with some of those dark shades if you've never played with them. That's the whole entire point of fall is you could be a little bit deeper, a little bit more vampy. It's getting cold. You're going to be wearing sweaters and scarves and stuff, even though I'm still wearing a tank top. Um, that's the whole entire point of fall is getting to play with some of those deeper, funner colors. Maybe experimenting with some depth levels that you're not used to playing with. We're getting out of those light, sun-kissed, bronzy looks from summer and transitioning into those beautiful, deep, you can still do bronzy, but it's going to be up to a whole different depth level. So yeah, but anyway, there we go. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel because I do upload seven days a week all about budget beauty. Let me know down below in the comments what are your, some of your favorite fall palettes you're going to be getting back out. 
I would love to know down below. Let's start a conversation, give each other some ideas. Maybe we have forgotten some palettes that we do have or some palettes that existed. So let's have a cool conversation down below. And of course, you're welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram, and it will be a budget glam babe. I will go ahead and I will do a few, like four, three or four of the super affordable palettes. I'll go ahead and link them on Amazon um, if you're interested in purchasing them. I'm not going to be doing like any of the super expensive palettes because I don't feel comfortable with that. But some of the, like the Wet n Wild or the J-Cat, um, I'll go ahead and link some of those down below. It'll be an affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but yeah. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up right on the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.